almost every day we hear about news like Nirbhaya, Disha and most recently a six-year-old girl got raped and killed by a 25-year-old man. I don't know what to call him, a monster, a psycho. Well, the reason I'm doing this video is to uh, educate people. Why are we um, just saying that no, whenever an incident happened, no, they should be capital punishment for these culprits, no, they should be killed, uh, there should be a better justice for the victim. And why are we not taking preventive decisions, preventive actions so that the next incident won't happen? Can technology do that? What technology can do to prevent such incidents? In my view, technology can contribute, but technology alone cannot do this. We need more of affordable IoT devices, affordable wearable devices. Right now, most of these are wearable devices which have uh, panic buttons, they are really expensive. In India, these expensive devices cannot be maintained or you know, purchased by most of the uh, household. So why not we are not, why not we focus on developing these devices which are affordable, you no know, less than 500 rupees, less than 1000 rupees, if that can protect or you know, prevent an incident, why are these companies not focusing on it? Well. The companies are working on it, but uh, the solution I would recommend is it's not just the uh, the devices. I would say there should be multiple elements, multiple groups to uh, prevent such incidents. Some of the existing devices, they could have some of the enhanced functionality. For example, the security cameras, they can do much more than just uh, a vigilance. Why can't these uh, security cameras have uh, AI, ML, enabled technologies or features to detect such incidents and whenever the incident happened alert these people and uh, even the smart street uh, lights you now instead of having the light just to illuminate in the night why can't these lights have a sensors and whenever there's a movement you now most of these uh, crimes or incidents happen when in the dark space so i would i encourage the government to keep these lights across all the places and of course you can keep it off but whenever there's a moment why don't you turn it on and you now make some sounds or maybe have some iot enabled uh, sensor so that you now it can prevent some crime also these iot devices you now in stuff human responding like a panic button or a distress call they should be talking to the uh, the nearby police station or maybe nearby responders automatically because in the instance you now the person might not think that no i have to press this button or maybe you know click on this button twice or thrice, it might not happen, but it should be smart enough to uh, give the signals or distress signals or alarm so that you now the incident could be at least stopped for some time. Instead of using the regular locks, maybe we have to depend on a smart lock. Now, if the smart lock is uh, affordable at maybe 500 rupees instead of 100 rupees lock, people will buy it because they're getting some value. So these smart locks could be you know, preventing such uh, incidents in the future. Say I've been talking about these IoT devices or technology, but these can get you some alerts. But in reality, they should be first responders. These first responders need not to be policemen. These first responders could be ex-army, or ex-department people, ex-servicemen, or maybe youth, they wanted to contribute towards the society. Uh, somebody who wanted to uh, take a social responsibility, they could probably form a group and uh, start responding to such alerts why wait till the police comes now in the case of uh, disha you now it happened just below uh, a, a bridge now there are people passing by every day if that uh, alert could have gone to at least a uh, people within one or two kilometer radius that instead of incident could have been stopped so the first responder is something um, i think people came up with this idea something like a murder or something but it never came to a reality it has to be a movement the iot devices has to have uh, alert and alert should go to first responders along with these uh, the police department so that within seconds or within minutes somebody will go reach that spot and stop that incident at least these iot devices will at least not do some uh, some loud noise or maybe some kind of uh, a geo tracking where people can reach that space that is going to be helping a lot of people in the future now let's talk about the second uh, suggestion I would say to prevent such incidents is 
using again a bit of technology and manpower here we have to depend on machine learning or maybe people's pattern now if you look at these incidents based on whatever happened so far all these criminals have some patterns maybe they have some uh, drinking habits or maybe some prior uh, uh, incidents prior cases and finally they did this big crime so why this department is not using the data data is the key you know most people say data is a gold mine now so the department has to document these uh, incidents and predict whether this particular person can do that such incidents in the future or not because just with my research in the last one hour i came to know that most of these culprits have the similar patterns drinking uh, maybe you know some thefts and uh, some you know, oh, you know fights in the family within the streets they all have similar or common patterns so why can't these departments analyze the data and pick up those people who are falling into the trap and educate them i'm not saying we have to punish them but if you can predict those people who might be committing such big crimes educate them this machine learning is uh, need not to be from a local data no you have to aggregate data from across the country across the uh, police departments or maybe from a worldwide and see what are the patterns what are the common patterns before such incident happened with these people now most of the police stations have these records but they're not documented they're not in the uh, systems so it's time for the uh, it's now it's time to bring that data into uh, databases and do some machine learning do to and do some data science to predict such people so that's my second suggestion as part of the preventive system for a safer world in the future continuation to that topic is about people consciousness now uh, most of us we when we go outside we keep your headphones and we we talk or maybe we are listening to music not knowing what is happening around us maybe we are uh, emerged into the social media you now when you're traveling you're looking at your phone maybe you are when you're going in a bus or a train you are you know you stick to the the gadgets but instead if your ears can be more conscious you can predict some of the things like now whether in a good environment or a bad environment with these electronic gadgets especially when you are in an outside world probably you have to keep them away from at least from the ears so that no your ears can um feel whether you can you are in a good environment or a bad environment most of the time people have this judgment when they are in a bad environment they get these vibes but if you plugged in your earphones if you're not hearing the outside world you might be in a bad situation but you will not know about it because of the gadget so keep away your gadgets and be more conscious when you're out when you're in the outside world the next suggestion i have is we need to have a stronger law a better law if you're raping a 6 year old girl you should get a capital punishment and this punishment should happen very quickly there, there should be a speedy uh, judgments happening in stuff no taking the case years to years to solve no what we seen in the nirbhaya it took years why it has to take years when we have a solid um, proof about the culprit so uh, if, as i said no the law should be strong no some of the other countries they have a stronger law and people are afraid to do any commit uh, any crime take example of dubai you know where you are afraid to throw garbage on the roads because of the strict law but in india you can do anything why because you don't have any fear of law so it's time we uh, have a better law to protect this nation it's not about protecting crime we need to have a better nation so we need to have a better law better uh, judgment process and finally i would recommend the governments to implement free education for all and even the existing the education system need to be revised completely you know instead of just focusing on ad- academics you have to teach what is good what is bad education system should have reforms to include the real life lessons instead of just academics you now the kids should learn how to predict a good environment how to predict a bad environment maybe you know how do you uh, uh, predict a good touch bad touch you no know, we don't teach such things in our education system maybe you no know, matter our parents or maybe grandparents used to teach that but now with the busy parents we don't spend time teaching such crucial things to our children so it's time to revise the entire education system in india to teach 
the life lessons as well as the academics so instead of just focusing on the ranks you no know, getting better ranks better marks just focus on real education let the entire nation grow in a good way you no know, when you are focusing on this uh, real good education some of the best schools who you know who charge about 3 lakhs 4 lakhs if they are teaching such standards why not the free schools so it's time the government should reform such education forms so uh, as started uh, can technology solve this problem i would say technology will contribute in solving such problem but it's up to us the departments people governments and the law all of us have to come together to prevent such incidents if you have any other suggestions do let me know and if you are working on any projects to solve such issues do let me know i'm happy to contribute towards such projects if you like this video do click on the like button and share it with your friends so that they know how such incidents can be prevented in the near future and we have a better world a safer world for all of us thanks again for watching this video my name is ram amancha of proud bharatwasi have a great day bye